I don't really like hosting my own lives, let alone wanting to moderate someone yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. Just get your point, please. <laughs> Uh, don't be rude. That's rude. How is that not rude? That Just like get up, please. Just get I will. We're I will. We're like, I'm doing the same thing you guys did. So I think that the problem me and Autumn are having is like we're uncomfortable answering because every time that we do, we have four other people who agree with each other who jump on us all together and they're not told not to interrupt yeah. and they're not told that they'll get dropped down for those things. But the minute that me and Autumn decide that we want to interrupt or that we have something to say and it's just taking too long for you guys, we're dropped. And that makes it uncomfortable for any opposition to want to come up here. This is something that is a continuous thing. And I come in and I'm in the chat. Like today, I came in the chat and I intended to comment. I never intended to come up, but I was invited that's the what you're not mentioning you, you, do, you do you do for more hold on bambi time. hold on bambi more than once. i just want to say that i do moderate my side um you please continue whatever you're gonna say were you talking to me or were you talking to i heard some other person talking yeah i was talking to you finish your thought so that's the reason that I'm kind of just not wanting to answer that question because it's pretty, in my opinion, it's a bit of a loaded question considering I wasn't a slave and, and those types of things. So I don't really feel comfortable answering that question, especially considering that majority of the people up here are people who are allies and they're mods. So if I say the wrong thing, I will get dropped and, and just... I just want to avoid that at all costs, um, considering I was invited and it seems like other people enjoy hearing oppositional views. But with that question, um, of course, the answer is no. But I mean, I just would rather not even go any further with that. Why didn't you just question. answer the question? Oh my God. When I, when you guys up, I said I wasn't going to drop anyone. I said you're I wasn't laughing, You're anyone. laughing at people's opinions, though. I haven't laughed at anything no, you guys have said. I'm laughing and I think it's ridiculous that you as well. We refuse to answer the question because you We refuse to answer because you make people up here Ayana. uncomfortable. That's my point, is we're uncomfortable answering those type of questions. And you make me uncomfortable with your response. I can answer the question. I can answer the question. So, okay, it wasn't, it wasn't right. I mean, it was like, like, it wasn't racist to call your slave master a cracker, whatever. You're in self-defense mode. You have to think about it. These people were really in defense mode. Like they were fighting for their lives. They were. Nowadays, nobody is enslaved. So we're not fighting for our lives to live. We can't just go around calling people cracker ass cracker anymore, right? You, you're you not, there's no, there's no valid reason why we should still do that in today's society. There, we're not fighting to literally stay alive anymore. Are you can I, can I ask a question? Did you see what you did there? Did you see Hold what on. you did there? You, you, you said the word cracker as cracker, but I won't hear you say the N word because you know very well that cracker as cracker is not is nothing. Can I ask a question? <clears throat> um, I, it's just quick. Okay, so, um, I used to work at Waffle House in North Carolina. But anyways, um, working at Waffle House, you experience a bunch of different other people. So this dude comes in, he sees my family, who again is a mixed family. And he sees my um, ex-husband, yes, who was also um, a YT person. Um, anyhow, he says to me that, oh, you know, isn't it, isn't it wonderful that a, co a colored woman like you gets to marry a YT man in today's society? Okay. Would it have been okay for me to call him a cracker ass cracker since he insulted me first? Or would that not have been okay since I'm not fighting for my life out here? Right? I mean, you could do whatever feels morally correct to you. No, that was not my question. I'm asking you, is it okay for me to combat what he said to me okay to me is not the same as what's more would it have been okay me, yes no. or no for me, yes no, or no I would never because I, I i treat people with respect even when they're disrespectful to me mm. ask if it would be racist not if it would be okay like would it would it have been racist for me to call him a cracker ass cracker since he had already called me colored no definitely not Mm, okay, but see, wrong, no, but see, the problem is, is that you think that people aren't out here fighting for their lives out here, and that things still aren't happening. 
Thank These you. things are still okay, happening. I'm not that happened in 2012. Earlier is that they're they're still happening. I'm not denying the fact, but no, but you are denying the fact in the, in the same breath. Yes, you are. People that were dealing. I asked you a question, but I wasn't done talking. So I asked you a question, you answered it, and so I'm still talking. With this. You have to understand. One hundred. No, I'm not, I'm not listening to you because I asked you a question. Ladies, and I'm still talking. Ladies, ladies, we'll we go, can't we can't we'll hear everybody. Go Rebecca, we'll let you go after Rebecca. Oh, no. Go ahead, Rebecca. The problem is, is that you think that these things still aren't happening, and yet we're supposed to have respect. We're supposed to just walk away when these people are saying the things that they say. I don't think so. When people are calling CPS or uh, Child Protective Services on people because you are a single black mother doing what you need to do for your children, saying that you're out doing something nefarious, but then they find out that you're really at work. Yes, because that has also happened to me. So until you have stepped into a black person's shoes and you deal with the same things that they deal with on a daily basis, you should just step, take a step back and educate yourself. Because you know nothing. I understand, Rebecca. My my. No, you don't understand. No, but listen. And your problem is that you yeah, keep speaking was, and interrupting instead of listening. You don't understand because you can't listen. Rebecca, I've been listening to you. you you're been. You're not listening. You couldn't even get my story correct the first time. Rebecca, you've been talking the most. H have I been talking the most? No. I also have a question about Adam too. Okay. She's a pop star. Were you done, Rebecca? Real quick, I think we wanted to give Autumn a chance to reply. Okay. Yeah. What I what I meant by fighting for your life was the fact that one hundred percent of Black people were facing this. You have to understand that they were facing malnutrition, torture, things like that. Not a hundred percent of Black people are facing that in today's society. We have to really sit here and agree on that. Hey, Autumn, are you trying to tell us what the black experience is in the United States? I yes, she is. No, she, 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 was, she was misinterpreting what I said, and I corrected. So, so real quick, Autumn, um, I think that it's disingenuous for you to tell black people that we don't face, like, significant threat in today's United States. Like, I, like, That's I, not I, what I said. I said facing that. malnutrition Autumn, and torture a at, on the Autumn, degree of 100% of black Autumn, people. Autumn, stop talking for a second. It's weird for you to make any kind of comparison. Like, don't do that. We don't do that with indigenous issues. We respect the fact that that is your community and it's not for us to speak on. You need to not do that for black people. I'll land my plane there. Yeah, I had a question. <clears throat> I know that you said that you're indigenous, which I think that you are, but also your profile says that you're Caucasian. So I'm not understanding. Say Caucasian. But doesn't it say native and then C A U S? Does that not stand for Caucasian? C A U S. I don't know. I'm not Caucasian. In your profile on TikTok, it says it right in your bio. Um, C A S. I don't. I don't recall having C A S in my bio. Um, She was half white to you. She still would be indigenous. Autumn, did you edit your profile? I promise you, I have not touched my profile like since I've made this account. Cause smoke wouldn't lie about that. I promise no. you, I definitely, I definitely am very sure about that. I'm a hundred percent positive. I am a native advocate. If you go to my profile, you would see that no, very no, clearly. I believe, I believe so, you're indigeneity. I believe you when you say that. But I'm saying like I most definitely believe that too. Like, but it's, I'm, I'm looking at it right now on my computer and it says mom, 23, native and Caucasian. It doesn't say Caucasian. I would never put that because I'm not Caucasian. I don't understand where you see that. Wow. It says Canada, U.S., the Canadian and U.S. flag because we're dual citizen. There's no Canada and U.S. flag on your on your profile. Anyways, so. Anyway, it doesn't. I'm just curious. Go ahead. Um, is there anything you would like to say, Autumn? Okay. Um, Ian is back in the request. Oh, she she is. 
I saw she just slipped out. I wasn't sure what happened there. I thought we made her so uncomfortable that she left. I thought so too. I was like, okay. I mean, they're that's, comfortable. That's her I'm sorry, you guys. My phone died like right, <laughs> right in the I middle. Thought, of we it. thought our questions made you so uncomfortable that you left. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, no, no. I, it's the ganging up on people that I don't mm, really like. I already told you I wasn't going to drop you. So hold I mean, on. And also, can I just say that if your arguments and your argumentation style is strong enough, it shouldn't matter however many people are asking you questions or trying to poke holes in it. Like, it should stand the test. If it can't do that, or if you don't have, like, the force of will to be up here with people, especially when half of us are being mute most of the time, then that's a you problem. That's a self-confidence problem, and we can't help you with that. And the fact that she doesn't correct her friend who literally unmutes every time anybody speaks and then speaks over people like it's not even an issue at all whatsoever. That's crazy to me. I actually corrected her friend. Yeah, I corrected her twice. Actually, yeah, I've done you guys couldn't hear me because uh, the rest of you guys were also talking. So. Yeah, I've done 5v1s. So... It I don't know what to tell you, but cry about it. So anyways, going back to the point, is there something that you, Ayana, would like to say, or you, Autumn? Yeah. Because we should move on. There's more people in the queue. Okay, yeah, I'm going to free up this space, but thanks for having me, guys, and have a good night. Good days. Um, I don't really have much to say at the moment, but if you guys want to talk about something else, then I'm open to that as well. Uh, you want to actually talk about the topic? I don't even know how we lost sight of the side of the hair, but I don't think we even started with hair. Um, so do you think that white people... Oh, she just were... gave us her opinion about the hair when she first got in the box. Oh, she did? The same thing that she always says. Oh, okay. I, I remember her missing the topic completely, but okay. She said it was just hair. Yeah. I think we done with Ayana for the day. <laughs> Smoke her um, so fed up. <laughs> I'm so over her. Like um I mean I would understand I, I don't I enjoy a dis a different point of view. But if you're just coming in and you keep repeating the same thing over and over and there, it's no depth in it. And it's just we're all human. Like, I just feel like that's just dumb. And I'm just tired of that. We see who else is in the queue. And I feel like people have been very gracious on educator. I mean, the lady yesterday, Justice, educated her to the T. And she just still came back with a butt. People are yes. human. Like, I, girl. And, um, and Athena, she is one of the best debaters. So, wonderful. I mean, she walked her. Walked her to education. Just walked her through A to C. And you still come back with butt. People are human. Like, girl, get out of here. <laughs> when have we, in history, when have we ever treated white people less than human? Let's be for real. That's what, that's what really does make me think, like, look at her like, are you, are you, are you serious? Because I'm throughout sorry. history, we have never done that. Um, okay. Hi, Mahogany. Um, if you can introduce yourself and your thoughts on the topic, please. Um, yes. Well, when you say introduce, just say my name. If you could do your do name, say like pronouns and all that stuff. Pronouns, please. Okay, mahogany, she, her, hers. Okay, so topic: Should white people wear black hairstyles? For me personally, I don't mind if they wear them. Is that, is that it? Hello? Is that all you have to say? Do you have anything else on why you believe that or? Oh, well, okay. So one, because 
I feel like one, I, I was always taught if you not going to change nothing about it, don't complain. My thing is, it's not affecting my pockets nor my hair, how they wear their hair. I, I don't have a problem with it. You want to do box braids, whatever. Could it potentially cause more breakage in their hair? Yeah. And certain damages? Yeah. I don't have a problem with it, at them actually wearing it. The only thing that I have a problem with is not having an understanding about certain things. Um, like when I hear the comments of, it's just hair. And I feel like it seems to not be an understanding about that is that that's how we feel too. When you say it's 2023 and, oh, or the comment of this ain't, what can you say online? These ain't um, in chain times and things of that nature. That's what throws me off because that is facts. It's 2023 and it should just be hair. But for some people, it's more than that because it's the fact of, okay, one, having to have the crown act. You're right. It's 2023. Why can I not wear my natural hair in the way it looks? Why am I going to have certain things put against me because of how my hair looks? Just like a couple of years ago, you go to work, you have box braids in or certain color hair. You were deemed ghetto or ratchet and it wasn't acceptable. But it's like now that other people are wanting to do it, it's more acceptable. Like walking in with fairy hair or your hair dyed pink or blue or purple. And it's just that for some people, it is just hair because they've never had to go through certain discriminations or whatever have you. And it's that's why I say for me, it's just about them have an understanding that you are right. It's just hair and it should just be hair for anybody, whether I got extensions or whatever in. And I just feel like they take away from actually having that understanding of what has happened to folks and just educating their self instead of just thinking that it's one of these. Well, what about me thing or I can't do it. And they're just like, oh, you're playing victim. It's things like that that I don't like, like certain words they say with it, if you get what I'm saying. We do. We do. Um, Bambi, did you want to go to the next box too? Um, I know you host. Okay, so Michael, welcome to the box. Tell us where you're from and what you think of the topic. Yes, hello. I don't know if y'all can hear me. Um, um, yeah, we can hear you. All right, I'm Mika. I'm from Texas, young black woman, you know, just wanted to put my point of view out there. I agree with Mahogany on the sense that it is, like, not really my business. However, I just say you're going to fuck up. How old are you? I'm 19. You can proceed. Thank you. I just feel like they're going to find out, you know, if it messes up their hair, that's on them. Like, you know, I can warn you, I can educate you if you're open to that and, you know, learning about the culture and the history. But if you want to be ignorant with it and deny the, you know, where it came from and who does it, who provides the stuff that really, you know, helps people with a lot of stuff is mainly black women when it comes to a lot of hygiene feminine products in general black women are the ones who put themselves out there and started that whole business in general when they don't give credit for that and go around talking shit and deciding not to like i said educate themselves that's when i feel like i have a problem with it mm -hmm. Anybody have any comments for the two ladies in the top two boxes? Um, yeah. How do feel about YT folks being able to wear um, our cultural hairstyles and, you know, not losing employment, not being denied access to educational events, not being kicked out of sporting events? Um, but you know, we face that discrimination. What do you guys think about that? Um, so yeah, that's what I was getting at when I had discussed about that, discussing the crown act. And so again, like I was saying, I do completely 
disagree when I hear certain comments when people say it's just hair because I feel like it's ignorance and not calling somebody uh, stupid when I say that it's just them not um, having the knowledge of what's happening and when people say certain things it's like to them it's just I should be able to do it because I want to do it without understanding the plight of other people because I have seen videos just it was what um 2021 a young track girl had beads in her hair and she was told to uh take them out or she couldn't you know compete or what have you so she had to cut it out and had her whole team surrounding her helping her take out the things or certain people were being told they couldn't wear certain swimming caps when they went swimming that were just better for our hair so that, that's what i was saying for me that's where the problem lies is them just not being educated with that and understanding that you know because that is a problem because again it is hair we should be able to wear our hair everybody not just you or whoever because you have the certain people have the opportunity to just go outside and throw their hair in a ponytail or just wear it out and it's okay as opposed to me where i have tight curls especially like that sponge hair where my hair is going to soak it up and when i wear it out it's called a uh, nappy or if i do wear weave oh you're trying to be like somebody else so i feel like maybe that's the where it's not connected for some people is they're not seeing that that's where the issue is is that when we do it it's not acceptable and then to act like it's not something that's happening that's where i have a problem i also agree with that and i did hear about that story of a girl getting her braids cut out and i've also gone through similar things like people saying my hair is too much to deal with or they don't want to do it because it's too much curl or too much knot or too much whatever and it might mainly a lot of the times it's white women or you know white people in salons or whatever and a lot of times you have to go and get your hair done at home by yourself you have to do it yourself and there's a lot that just goes into it and it's not fair that a lot of times we have to go out and our natural hair is not enough and then we go out get our hair done and that's too much or it's not enough you know it's not right and especially i don't want to bring up names but you see a lot of influencers on here with braids and stuff and it's like they do it to slurs and the n-word and do things and put on little accents that they think we have you know it's it's disrespectful it's and it's ignorant and braids are a lot more than just you know braids it's protection it is our heritage and when you go back in history a lot of that times it is love from a black mother a black woman aunt stranger